All right, we're here with Lewis, and as you can see, we're Inventory Lab, and Lewis is a customer for a few years of Inventory Lab. So, Lewis, I want you to talk about before using Inventory Lab, and then we'll talk about what were things like after. So, talk about before. Before it was rough. Um, we were is we were trying to do everything just manually through the Amazon system, which which most people know is is a little bit clunky, a little archaic. So it was it was pretty painful once you go above a certain number of SKUs. So it was it was pretty rough. Yeah. yeah. So then, what were the pain points? What made you then decide to? Because it's a big leap to probably implement any software in your business, and then we'll talk about how it worked. Sure. Well, I think the main thing was. Um, I happened to just read about Inventory Lab through through some user forums, and they talked about just the the ease of functionality to do some of the most basic critical things like list inventory, or uh, keep track of your cost of goods sold, or um, or even just print labels if necessary. So just kind of like the the blocking and tackling of actually listing and shipping inventory to Amazon, it, it was like a godsend. Honestly, I think I think. We signed up for a trial, and I think within two days we knew that this was uh, a, a really critical piece of our business that we needed to have, and we've been we've been using it ever since. So what were you seeing in those two days that you immediately knew? Just the functionality, right? I mean, the most basic things: being able to find a previous SKU that was much much clunkier to find using Seller Central, being able to pull up information easily. The UI was very nice. Um, being able to track expenses, in, kind of a, in a unified platform. So I think uh, the fact that, excuse me, even the mobile app was, was nice. Scalify was a, a huge perk as well. So it, it just felt like it really encompassed all the specific, some of the challenges that we had um, in, in running our business. So Liz, what else should people know about Inventory Lab from a customer standpoint? I think at the end of the day, so I have a previous background in, 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 in uh, business to business software, so I know Software, it, it, it's not, it's iterative, it's not easy to make changes as much as, as some people would like. I mean, when you're dealing with smaller customers, obviously a lot of smaller businesses, there is probably maybe some expectations that they have, like, well, this needs to be addressed right away, or this is a pain point, why aren't you fixing it now? But as a, a company that tries to think about what's going to really benefit the most number of users, I respect the fact that Inventory Lab does things in a way that um, it seems like they're very customer centric, right? I think th people that haven't been in software or don't know what it's like to actually sell software on the other side, they might not understand well, why it might take a few months to fix this feature or roll out this feature, but in that sense, I've found Inventory Lab to be extremely responsive. They try to address things. I mean, no one's perfect, right? And, and I'm not saying Inventory Lab's perfect, but I'm, I'm pretty darn happy. But I think I've been impressed just with the customer centric nature of the company, so. Thanks, Louis. I appreciate it from Inventory Lab, Prosper Show. Awesome.